Hi, so we've been getting a lot of questions in chat today, specifically on the Blizzard Sorceress. Mac, how do you deal with the Chaos Sanctuary? How do I farm the Chaos Sanctuary? What are the ways that I can get into this very high value farming area, especially on Players 1, where it should be a little bit easier, but people are obviously running into the issue of cold immunes. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my gear, what we're running right now. This is my Magic Find setup. In addition to that, we're then going to go through what I think is the best way for you to do it, which is the seal popping technique, and I'll give a quick overview of that as well. And just like the tips that you need to be able to do it, some of these are going to be very obvious to veterans and returning players. So if you already know how this works, feel free to just skip the video, honestly. I know you already know, and I'm, I'm glad that you checked it out at all. But for people who may be new, there are some techniques that are not immediately apparent as to what your best options are for being able to handle the Chaos Sanctuary, most notably Lord DeSace. So starting with our gear that's on our character, I mean, this is a, a decent mid-late game build for your character. So obviously your results are going to vary a little bit, but if you're looking at the same type of gear, you can very easily do this. We're using Heart of the Oak, Shaco with Magic Find, Skin of the Viper Magi with Magic. We're using Cold Skills with Magic Find, Spirit Monarch, Run Walk with Dual Res Magic Find. We have FCR Ring. We're using Gold Wrap, a Nagles, and then Chance Guards. In our charms down here, we do have a torch. It's a low roll torch. We have a Geeds in one Cold Skiller, and then everything else is Magic Find, Resistance, and Life. On the swap, we're using a Blade of the Alibaba with 18 MF jewels in it in total, and then a Rhyme Shield, as well as a Skulders with a Pitopaz in it for additional Magic Find when we're killing uh, Diablo himself. For the Mercenary, it's a Tal's Mask, an Insight in a normal Thresher, I just can't find an Ethereal Thresher, and then Treachery in a Light Plate, because defense doesn't mean anything. Feel free to roast me in the comments. Defense is garbage. For our skills, we are a fully maxed out Blizzard with max cold pen. So we have max Blizzard, max Ice Blast, Ice Bolt, max Cold Mastery, and then our dump points are going to Glacial Spike, along with one point for Frozen Armor, enough points to have Static and Teleport, and then one point into Warp to help with Mana Regen. Coming into the Chaos Sanctuary, one of the first things that may not be immediately apparent is that you actually want to drop a Town Portal right in that first little foyer inside of the Chaos Sanctuary, and I'll show you that right now. So if you find any density here, go ahead and drop a Town Portal and then just skip by everything else. We're not killing that, we're going to use Seal Popping. That Town Portal is going to act as a player in that area, basically keeping those monsters active, meaning we don't have to go so far down when we're trying to do our Seal Pop. Now we're going to go pop our Seals and kill the bosses, and we're going to leave the second Seal on Infector of Souls up so that we can do the Seal Pop technique. Pop, the Grand Vizier, and now here we do need to clear out a bit because we're going to need to be able to static and telekinesis on Lord DeSace to help our mercenary kill him. We're going to static to reduce his life as much as we can, and then you sit there casting telekinesis, which will knock him back and put him into hit recovery so that he can't run away from your mercenary, who hopefully will go fight him quickly so that you don't have to stand around. And that's probably the biggest takeaway here. You're not going to be able to kill Lord DeSace, but you are able to kill his minions and the things around him. So you want to get those static charges on as fast as possible, and then just telekinesis him. If he happens to be immune to lightning, telekinesis will still knock him back and still stun him, so you're able to use that as well, although it will take longer for your mercenary to kill him. If he keeps running away, teleport your mercenary right on top of him, and then swap back over to telekinesis so that he'll stay put. Remember, we want to leave the second to last seal down here unpopped. So we want to spawn Infector, get him killed, and then we're going to use Seal Pop Technique. And I'll give a quick description of that as well. So Infector is dead. Make sure that you kill off the rest of his minions and clear out this area, just so that you can get a clear shot of it when you're coming back. So what is Seal Popping? Well, when you open up the last seal after killing all three seal bosses, every monster in the Chaos Sanctuary will die. But if those monsters were not active, they will not drop loot. Well, how do you activate them? It turns out that if a character is within roughly two screens of a monster, within five to seven seconds of popping this seal, the monster is considered to still be active, and it will drop its loot as if you killed it when you popped the seal. So what you want to very quickly do 
and I recommend being on the 105 FCR breakpoint or higher for this so that you can cover as much ground as possible, is do a quick loop across your side, down here, and then back up, and very quickly pop the last seal, and then we'll go see what they dropped. Normally this is a lot better if there are a ton of bosses down here, so that you basically get to kill a whole bunch of bosses for free. Now let's go back down there and see what dropped. Got some mana, got some gold, got yourself an Amrune. Do do do. Killed a boss pack over here. Nothing good. And remember when I said leave your town portal down here? So every monster within the range of this town portal was considered active, even though we didn't go all the way down here. And that's something really important that BT Neanderthal actually discovered back in LOD was that town portals represent character presence in the game's logic, and all those monsters were just kind of milling around here doing nothing. So this is a great way to extend the range of your seal pop technique so you don't have to potentially lose out on deactivating monsters by taking too long of a route. Pick up whatever you would want, you know, we got three extra boss packs doing this that we didn't even have to kill. Swap out to your magic find, pop onto Diablo, make sure that you're static king him down. I have magic find on my swap, so I'll go there now. Kill your Diablo. Get your bad set ring. It's probably a Cap'ins. There you go. You did it. It's really that simple. So you can, do, as long as you have the 105 breakpoint and your resistances are at a decent place. So obviously with the skin of the Viper Magi, our resistances look a lot better. But even without it right here, even though fire damage is going to be of a concern, you're a Blizzard Sork. So you're going to max, uh, max range cast your Blizzard and pop everything very quickly. You can do this exact same thing on a dual spirit setup. You can even have more res. I am of a power level where I'm high enough to be able to be using a full magic find setup. Obviously, I have the privilege of having a torch and a skiller and decent resistances on the rest of my gear, especially with a piece like this. So just keep that in mind. It might be a little bit stickier. You might have to play it a little bit slower, but that seal pop part of the technique, and go ahead and try to say that five times fast, that can be done with basically no gear. So as long as you can pop both of the other seal bosses and handle disace with care, you'll be able to implement this same thing, and now you're farming chaos in two to three minutes. I hope that that helps, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.